Paul Malko, one of the creators and designers of Union City Alliance, a new deck and board building game for two to four players or solo play. And today, I'm going to be playing a game of Union City Alliance with just myself. I'll be playing two heroes, and I'm going to be using the actual physical copy of Union City Alliance to show you what a game is like when it's played in person. I'm going to set up the game, play it, and we'll see what happens. When you first start playing Union City Alliance, you take it out of the box. I put cards in card boxes. We can take the starting panel and put it in the middle of our play space. The other map panels, we can shuffle. Uh, as you can see, the map panels are a thick cardboard. They're six by six. And shuffling them is actually not all that difficult. You only need to do it once in the beginning of the game. So once that's done, these can get set aside in the map zone. Now let's choose a couple heroes to play with, and we can go ahead and set up their hero zones and set up the Union deck after that. We'll start with Captain Jupiter, who we'll play. We'll team up with the Green Death. We'll play with Odysseus. And we'll team up with Wrangler. So, the characters we're going to play with, Captain Jupiter and Odysseus, we can find their solo cards, which are easily identified by the green training circle in the upper right hand corner and their origin cards which are identified by the light green circle with the O saying origin. Her team up cards which have the blue achieve circle can all go back in the box for next time. Once we separated out her solo cards, origin cards, and character card we can set up her hero zone. First thing you do is take your origin deck, shuffle it. It's only 10 cards, so it'll just take a, sh a second. And we can set the origin deck next to the character card in what will be Captain Jupiter's hero zone. Next we shuffle her solo cards, set those on the opposite side of her hero zone and reveal our first two available solo cards. We get uh, Invert Gravity and Newtonian Flux. These are some cool cards to start with. Captain Jupiter's hero zone is now all set up. We can do the same thing for our other playable hero, Odysseus. Finding his origin deck, finding his solo deck, and putting his team up cards back in the box for next time. For the two heroes we've chosen to team up with, who will not be playing as, we do just the opposite. Find their character card, origin deck, and solo deck, and put all of that back in the box for next time. We take out only their 15 card team up decks. Their origin decks, solo decks, and character cards Go back in the box for next time. So now we have two 15 card team up decks for the two heroes we'll be teaming up with. These get added to a prime hero deck. Now, the Heroes Unite base game comes with one 40 card prime deck. But each game, you're gonna add two team up heroes in. So that 40 card deck that's static in each game actually becomes a 70 card deck that is customized every game, giving you huge replayability. And combining these three decks, two team ups and one prime, is quick and simple, it's done at the beginning of the game, and then you don't need to worry about those terms anymore. From now on, we're just gonna call this the Union deck. This is where we're gonna get all our hero cards that will appear on the board throughout the game. Now that we've got our 
70 card union deck all set up. We can put that over here in the map zone. And to finish setting up the map zone, we can grab a central city deck. Now, just like with a prime hero deck, Heroes Unite comes with a single central city deck. In this case, it's downtown Union City. And this is a ton of challenges and enemies and incidents that are unique to Union City that are kind of iconic to the downtown of this superhero city. Shuffle these city cards. At this point in the game, you can also add a scenario. Adding a scenario is even easier than setting up the Union deck. What you do is you shuffle your Central City deck. You remove half of it, or 16 cards, and then you add in a 16 card scenario deck. There are three different scenarios that come with the Heroes Unite base game. Today we're just going to play with the Central City deck, but if I were adding a scenario at this point, I'd take half the Central deck, put it back in the box, take a scenario, and shuffle them together, which is just the same procedure as I'm doing now, but with the Central City deck alone. So you can always play a game with just this 32 card Central City deck, more of which will be coming down the line. Just like the Union deck, this will go over here into our map zone. Now we've got our hero set up, we've got our map zone set up, the only thing left to do is set up the villain. In this case, we're going to play against the Tyrannodon of the Dino Mafia. Uh, if you look at the source book that comes with Heroes Unite, there'll be specific setup instructions for each villain. With Tyrannodon, we'll separate his unique decks, the Mobster deck, the Raptor Gangster deck, his peril deck and then we've got issue rules cards the issue rules cards will correspond to the three different issues now at the beginning of the game we're going to take our plot deck the villain plot deck and separate out the cards into issues we'll also remove any cards that are just for three and four player games now I've already done that these are all the three and four player cards right here but at the beginning of the, every game, one way or the other, you need to organize these into issues. This is done by looking at the issue number indicator that's on every card. And while you're doing this, you can also set aside any cards that are for games with more players. And it's just that easy. Now, each one of these issue stacks We'll go under their issue rules card. We'll put those over there in the villain zone. We actually don't need to shuffle issues two or three because those will get shuffled again as soon as you change the issue. Reveal the issue rules card for issue number one. Flip it over and set it down in the villain zone. This has important information pertaining to the villain as well as um, some rules for the heroes for this issue, including what the issue number is equal to. That's an important variable in Union City Alliance. In this case, the issue number is equal to one. The number of legacy cards we can have at the end of our cleanup phase in our play area is two, and there's no breakaway cost for um, leaving a panel with enemies on it. Now we've got our villain zone set up. So we have the map zone, our two hero zones, and the villain zone. We'll also grab out the tokens. As you can see, Union City Alliance, the base game Heroes Unite, comes with over 150 tokens. We can also grab the two standees of the heroes we're playing, Odysseus and Captain Jupiter. These are temporary tokens. They will look uh, nicer. They'll be uh, uh, cut out more specifically uh, when we have the actual game. And hopefully we'll also have minis as an add-on. And uh, if we get to the stretch funding goal, we'll have minis included with every game. 
that's everything we need from the box. The cards for three and four players for the villain. You can go back in there. And we're now done with the box. Now we can begin playing. The first thing we do in any game is follow the setup instructions on the starting panel. In the case of Heroes Unite, the starting panel it comes with is, is the hero headquarters, which says reveal five cards per player, then each player chooses one to set up on the hero HQ. We then trash the rest. So we've got 10 cards here to choose from. Because I'm playing solo, I will just choose both of them. I'm definitely going to take rapid, rapid Processing because that is both card filtering and it's inexpensive Valor right away. As a general rule, Valor is more useful early game and Might is more useful late game, though all those resources will be required throughout. Um, the other one I'm going to go with is Castling which is Valor and Speed. It's a little more expensive, but it's also got a great Gambit effect, which will allow us to defend ourselves. All these other cards are going to go into the Union Trash, but don't worry, it's not necessarily the last time we will see them. There are card effects, uh, map panel actions, and other things that may allow us to search this Union Trash, and find some of those cards again. Each player can draw their starting hand, which is five cards. Odysseus has an array of cards. I think one of each of his starting cards. And Captain Jupiter's got a pretty good selection as well. So, uh, I set up Captain Jupiter first. It doesn't really matter who goes first, but we'll just use her. Each hero's turn is divided into five phases. Action, where the majority of the stuff you do will happen. Clean up, draw, and then threat and peril, which is where the game and the villain will act against you. So, uh, for our action phase, we can play one or all of the cards in our hand or anywhere in between. Generally speaking, you're gonna play all the cards in your hand, though sometimes there's a reason to hold some back. Uh, for right now, we'll start with Interstellar Travel. This is a one speed card. As soon as I play it, I get the speed that's on there. And I'm going to use that to explore. Explore is one of the actions you can take on your turn. And what that means is you exert speed equal to the range of a space uh, from the starting panel. So right now, every space around us is just one to explore. And then you set up a new panel there. Right now, we got the Hades Club. And because we're two players, the standard setup is two union cards and one city card on each new panel. And as part of the explore action, you move onto that new panel. So Captain Jupiter has moved onto the Hades Club. She's gotten this new location with new uh, resources and new potential. So I still have four cards in my hand, and I still have a good amount of um, buying power. So I think I'm going to use this speed from the other interstellar travel to come back here. I'm going to play G-Force for two Valor, and then I've got two Jovian Mites. Jovian Might is one Valor or two Might. Um, you decide that as soon as you play the card what the printed resource is. So in this case, I'm going to use both of them for Valor, which gives me a total of uh, four Valor. I'm going to achieve Castling. When I achieve a card off the board, it goes from the board into my discard pile. I've now played all my cards. I've used all my resources. So that's going to be it for my action phase. I'm now going to clean up. The clean up phase is usually the quickest and easiest. You take all non-legacy cards from your play area, put them into your discard pile, and that's that. You can also ready any cards that you uh, tap or use this turn. Uh, once the cleanup is done, you can draw up to five cards. Uh, once you have five cards in your hand, you stop drawing. I don't have any cards in my hand, so I'm going to draw all five of these. It's the rest of my starting deck. 
And I've got some cool stuff to do for next turn. Not as much buying power, but more fight and more speed. Uh, now is the threat phase. I'm done drawing. Uh, any enemies that are on the board that I am in, I'm within threat range of would then threaten, potentially moving to my panel and assaulting me, dealing me damage. However, there are no enemies on the board yet, so we're going to go over to the Pteranodon and his Peril. On the Peril phase of every player's turn, you play the top card of the Peril deck and carry it out completely. In this case, it's Wrath of the Underworld. So, we'll play our first plot card, thanks to Wrath of the Underworld. And that's going to be... Ah, Professor Sorozinski. Uh, this is an enemy challenge. It does have a debut that says, Place this on the nearest panel with no hero on it. So, Professor Sorozinski is actually over at the Hades Club. And uh, hopefully somebody can rescue him. We've now carried out our um, Peril card. We've carried out the plot card. And we can move on to Odysseus's turn. So we'll start with Odysseus's action phase. The first thing he'll do is play his Modern Odyssey for one valor and two speed. There's no or on Modern Odyssey, so he can get both those printed resources. Um, I'll also play Clever Captain, bringing him to three speed and one valor. I will play Idol of Millions, which is one valor, uh, and it has an activate which says discard a card to gain one extra valor. So I'm going to discard this simple sphere, gain that extra valor, bring me to three. I will achieve rapid processing. And then Odysseus will use one speed to move over to the Hades Club and then exert two speed to confront Professor Sorozinski. Uh, Professor Sorozinski's confront is issue plus one, so right now that's two. When Odysseus... Uh, exerts that two speed you put a progress token onto the challenge and when there's a number of progress tokens equal to the difficulty of that challenge it is overcome so in this case because the difficulty is only one once one progress tokens on this is overcome and it goes into the villain trash professor sorzinski is rescued we no longer need to worry about him or the citywide alert uh, Odysseus still has one simple spear in his hand. Uh, that's not going to do him any good, so he's just going to play it. Um, he gets the one might, but he doesn't exert it. So during his cleanup phase, that one might goes away. All these cards get cleaned up and put in his discard pile. And on his draw phase, he'll draw until he has five cards in his hand. Again, that's the rest of his origin deck. Um, once the draw phase is over, we move on to the threat phase, but there are no enemies on the board, so we go on to Peril, which is Escalate 1. Escalate is a keyword for villains, which means take the bottom card of the plot deck and put it on the bottom of the next issue stack. This moves us closer to issue number 2. We've taken care of all the Peril, now we can get back to Captain Jupiter's turn. Okay, on Captain Jupiter's action phase, she's got a bunch of speed. Uh, so the first thing she'll do is exert one to explore north. Oh, she finds the high school. She's got a standard setup. Uh-oh, Steelheart. Two union cards. Oh, cool. And she actually found one that's cheap enough for her to uh, uh, afford this turn. So, um, this city card is not a challenge like Captain Great, but is in fact an enemy. You can tell because they have the uh, enemy uh, stamina in the corner, as well as the bar for fight and threat. Uh, he also has a unique mechanic, Steely Demeanor, prevent the first one damage dealt to this each turn. Uh, which is going to make him more of a challenge, but that's okay. So, Captain Jupiter will play her other G-Force and achieve Guns Blazing. That only costs two. Uh, then she'll play both her Cosmic Gauntlets, dealing two damage to Steelheart. He blocks the first one, so he gets one damage on him. Uh, and then she'll Graviton Manipulation, which gives her two more 
speed and she will activate this to send Steelheart down to Odysseus because the activate on Graviton Manipulation says move a union or city card on your panel to a panel in range 2. So she shoved him out of threat range. And now actually she's going to use that 2 speed to come here. Oh, before she does that, she'll uh, use the map panel action here, which says gain issue number heroism. When she uses that, it gets a panel exhausted token, which means it can't be used again as long as that's on there. Um, and that got her one heroism. So we'll put this over here. We'll set up this new panel that she got from her two speed. Oh, it's got a lassoed. And I smell your fear. Oh boy. And Mother Munchausen, unfortunately. And now uh, she's exerted all her resources. So we'll go to clean up. Everything is out of her play zone. And now we move on to the draw phase. As you can see, Captain Jupiter no longer has a deck. So we take her discard pile. And this is as soon as you need to reveal something from your deck, draw something from your deck, interact with your deck in any way, and it's not there. And you shuffle your discard pile and it becomes your new deck. So those cards we've achieved are now in our deck. One, two, three, four, five. I draw up to five cards. And look at that. I've got one of the cards that I, uh, I purchased last turn already. So uh, that's it for her draw phase. We move on to threat. And I am threatened by uh, Mother Munchausen. Her threat is zero. So that means she only assaults characters who are on uh, the same panel as her during the threat phase. In this case, I am. So, uh, she says, poison pill, damage dealt by this is unavoidable, which means I, I can use gambits, but they're not gonna do me any good. Um, she's just gonna do me two damage, which I will take. So, Captain Jupiter gets two damage. And now that the threat is concluded, um, you see that Steelheart is also still on the board, but I'm well out of his threat range. Uh, his threat range is one, which means I need to be on Hero Headquarters or Hades Club in order for him to threaten me. Uh, peril happens regardless, though. And we get City Never Sleeps. Um, that will move enemies towards Captain Jupiter, but that's not going to happen because Steelheart is with Odysseus. And we do get a City card. Oh, uh, which comes here. It's... Uh, endangered ally which says debut put a union card from this panel under this card and then the cost to confront this is the cost of that card minus two so just like in the art um tamlin uh endangers our ally uh marid she's uh, the captured companion so now this is a two cost to overcome and when we do that we will uh get that chain summoning so that's actually not that bad for us that concludes the uh, Peril phase, and we're on to Odysseus. So you see, uh, each player's turn is largely self-contained. They take their five phases in order, and then the next player goes. We're back to Odysseus. He's got Steelheart on his uh, panel here. So I'll start by playing uh, these three, which are Modern Odyssey, Idol of Millions, and Clever Captain which gets me two valor and three speed. I think Odysseus is gonna explore. It doesn't cost me anything to move off of Steelheart's panel. So I'm gonna exert two to explore here because again, the range from the starting panel is two. Oh, the super mall, that's a great one to get. Okay, uh, so I'll come up here, I'll do the setup on this, which gets, ooh, another rapid processing and a devil's advocate. Those are great cards to get early on. Ah. But there's also Mass Hysteria here. Uh, Mass Hysteria is a challenge that says ignore all achieve effects and map actions on this panel. So I can't use the free samples right now until I overcome this. That costs four to overcome. Now, because I'm Odysseus, I have Prince's Prerogative, which says gain issue number valor that can only be exerted on a panel that you explored this turn. So right now I have one extra valor. And so that brings me to three valor. I still have one speed. Three Valor, so I could get Rapid Processing or Devil's Advocate, which is probably a good idea. 
so I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab the other rapid processing. That way I'm going to be processing like a, a madman that uses all my valor. I still have one speed though. And I'm going to use that to come here to get out of Steelheart's range. I didn't use these two simple spears in time, so they're going to go to waste, unfortunately. Um, I could have played those and hit Steelheart before I left his panel, but I didn't know if I was going to need those to discard for Idol of Millions, or if I was going to run into another enemy. So this is a, a, a calculated risk I made. I left uh, Steelheart unscathed, but I did get away from him. So I cleaned up, and now I go to draw. Again, just like Captain Jupiter, my deck is empty, so I will shuffle, turning my discard pile into my new deck. There we go. I'll draw five, two, three, four, five. All origin cards, not exactly what I wanted, but it is what it is. It's just, Odysseus is just starting out, so uh, we go to threat phase now. Mother Munchausen is only a threat of zero, so she doesn't move or assault me. Steelheart is a threat of one, so he doesn't move or assault me. And we go to the peril, which is Crime Wave. Crime Wave says, place a Raptor Gangster on your panel. It immediately threatens. So here's this Raptor Gangster. Uh-oh. Uh, he's going to assault me for two, because his uh, fight is issue plus one. And... I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to take that damage. I do have a Gambit in my hand, but I'm choosing not to use it. It's only one speed, but I would like that one speed next turn. It gives you more options and more versatility. And right now, two, two damage is something I'm comfortable with taking. Uh, so I've got my full hand for next turn. We are done completely with uh, the Peril phase, which means we're back to Captain Jupiter. So, Captain Jupiter's got some fight this time. Not enough, but she's got some. And I think she'd rather take out that Raptor Gangster because uh, Captain Jupiter's increased inertia says, activate if you defeated an enemy this turn, gain one heroism. And gaining that heroism is a good idea. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play my Graviton Manipulation I am going to activate it. So I still have the two speed, but I'm going to activate this to move an, uh, move a city card to a panel in range two. I will push her here to the hero HQ. Uh, I'll use one of those speed to come here. Ah, yep, good. Okay. Um, I will get three uh, fight from the Cosmic Gauntlets and the Guns Blazing, which will allow me to defeat this Raptor Gangster. Uh, when I defeat an enemy, I can activate my increased inertia and get that other heroism. Uh, so I've got one speed left. I'll use Interstellar Travel for another speed and uh, I will overcome endangered ally. Uh, it says put this the card under this into any hero's hand. Uh, so once I overcome endangered ally, I can put this either in my hand or Odysseus's. This is one of the aspects of teamwork in this game. You really choose who's going to make the most of that card. In this case, Captain Jupiter is a bigger fighter. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it right into my own hand. So I've got more speed and fight so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to exert that speed to explore north and as you can see as you play the game you can just slide the whole board to make room where you're going to explore there's no fixed pattern you have to explore in there's no boundaries to the map all you do is exert speed equal to the distance from the hero hq so again building one direction is kind of prohibitive uh, if you build more around the starting panel, you're going to get more uh, panels for your expenditures, but there's nothing saying that you have to do that. Uh, so Captain Jupiter comes up here. We get our standard setup. Oh boy, Texas-sized hero. Uh, and a pass the mantle. 
Oh, and unfortunately we get American Patriot X, who's going to come down here, uh, because his debut says uh, put him on the starting panel. Captain Jupiter is going to play this uh, G-Force and grab this uh, past the mantle. She's exerted all her resources now, uh, except for the two might, which will go to waste for right now on the cleanup phase. And again, we can untap her card because we can use that activate again on another turn. And on uh, draw, we'll draw a five. On the threat phase, American Patriot X does threaten because as you see, his threat is two. Uh, and his sharpshooter ability says he doesn't move, but he does assault. So he's going to assault her for one. She's going to take that one damage because the cards she has in her hand, uh, she'd need to discard. And the one damage is worth taking to keep those cards in hand. So we move on to the peril phase. We play a plot card. If it's issue three or later, we escalate. Ah. We're getting another uh, villain challenger. Cretaceous Club. The debut on this is place this on the farthest panel with no hero on it. So that is going to be down here. Oh boy, Hades Club is uh, quite the place. Uh, okay, and that's that. Uh, as you can see, or all raptors have a plus one fight. That's a citywide alert because of that. So we're going to want to deal with that sooner rather than later. But that's the peril phase, which brings us to Odysseus. So now I'm glad I have that one speed, because I'm going to use that one speed to come here. I'm going to spend uh, all three of my simple spears to defeat American Patriot X. Defeat. Another hero draws three cards, and any hero gains three heroism. So uh, Captain Jupiter gets to draw three cards. Uh, she only has two left in her deck, so we shuffle her discard pile, form the new deck. Okay. And now any hero gains three heroism. And I think Odysseus will take it, uh, since he's about to get beaten up by Mother Munchausen. He still has Idol of Billions in his hand, but this really can't do anything. It's only one Valor, so he's just going to play it, do nothing with that one Valor, clean up, and draw. One, two, three, four, five. And now, OK, perfect. He got. The rapid processing, which has an alert. Um, alert is triggered when you get it into your hand, whether that's by drawing or another pa player pass passing it to you. Whenever it first enters your hand, you can activate that alert. Uh, in this case, it says a hero draws a card and a hero discards a card. So Odysseus is going to draw that card. Ah, it's an alert. And he'll discard a card. He'll discard his um, simple spear. And then he's got another rapid processing, which says a hero draws a card and a hero discards a card. So he's going to draw that card, which gets him a modern odyssey. Um, and then he's going to ask Captain Jupiter to do a discard. And since she's drawn, thanks to Odysseus, she will happily do that. Get rid of one of her interstellar travels. And that's Odysseus's draw phase. So you can see those two rapid processings I bought earlier have already come back and given us a lot of versatility. Uh, and control over our decks. Whew. But Odysseus is about to be threatened, and twice. So, the first thing that happens is we choose one enemy, carry out its threat, and then we do that for each enemy who is in range. So Odysseus gets threatened by Steelheart, who assaults him for one, which he'll take, and Mother Munchausen for two, which is unavoidable, so he'll take all three of that damage, which brings him to five damage. Uh, in Union City, heroes have a maximum stamina. So Odysseus is 27, Captain Jupiter's is 29. And you add damage tokens on. When you heal, you take damage tokens off. But it's not really possible to go over your maximum stamina. So that's the threat phase. Uh, Odysseus took a walloping, but that's OK. He's going to get his peril now, which is just an escalation. So. Bottom card of the plot deck goes into the next issue stack, and Captain Jupiter's up with her seven-card hand. 
So she's got quite a bit of might. She's got quite a bit of speed. She's kind of got everything she needs. So we'll start by playing Castling, which will give her two speed to move down here to Assault Mother Munchausen. She needs to discard a might card. Uh, like it says with uh, Bad Medicine. So she's going to discard these Cosmic Gauntlets. And then she's going to play these two Jovian Mites each time for their might. Bring her to four might, which is enough to take down Mother Munchausen. It says destroy a card in your play area or discard pile. And a hero heals for five damage. Uh, because Odysseus is the only one who's taken five damage, he'll heal that. And Captain Jupiter will destroy this interstellar travel in her um, discard pile. Destroying origin cards is a great way to make your deck stronger. It's not super, super common, but be on the lookout because there's a lot of city cards, panels, and ways of thinning your deck. So, interstellar travel, like any card that gets destroyed, goes in the box for next time. But Captain Jupiter has more to do. She's still got two speed and two valor in her hand. She'll use that two speed to come one, two, up to here. The two Valor, there's nothing for her to buy for two, but uh, one of the actions is Bravery, which says um, exert two Valor to gain one Heroism. So she'll do that, bring her to a total of three Heroism, um, which means she can afford either of her solo cards, but she's going to hold on to for that for right now and probably do it next turn. She will activate this since she uh, defeated an enemy this turn to bring her up actually to four heroism. Now on the cleanup phase, all these cards go away. We can untap this and she draws five. One, two, three, four, five. No alerts, but she's got some great cards, a lot of fight for next time and a good amount of speed. Nobody threatens her. So we go to the peril deck and just like with most decks in Union City Alliance, when the Peril deck is empty, we simply flip it over, shuffle it, and it becomes the Peril deck again. The one big notable exception to this is the Plot deck. When the Plot deck runs out, you move on to the next issue instead of uh, shuffling it and uh, putting it back. This is because the Plot continues to escalate over the course of the game. Our Peril is Escalation. So we're going to move the bottom card over. We have three cards left in issue one which means we won't get through the whole Peril deck again before we get to issue two. So, Odysseus' turn. <clears throat> the first thing he's going to do is use one speed to come over here. Uh, he doesn't have any might, but he'll use the three valor from uh, Rapid Processing and a Modern Odyssey to overcome uh, Captain Great, who says deal an enemy... Anywhere on the board, five damage. He'll do that to Steelheart, defeating him. And he says, defeat two heroes, each gain four heroism. So each of us will gain four heroism. And Odysseus will do his first training of the game. He'll train for Helm of Kings. And uh, when you train, you can put that card either directly in your hand or on top of your deck. So I'm going to take this right into my hand. Uh, grab a training token, which means that from now on to train for cards, uh, it costs two extra. Uh, I'll leave Challenge of the Bow out and get uh, Hero of the Iliad. Cool. That works nicely for the strategy that Odysseus is going to be going for based on the Helm of Kings. Uh, he'll play Helm of Kings, uh, which is a legacy card. Uh, the first time you discard a card each turn, you may draw a card. So that brings Odysseus to, he's got two speed left. I guess he'll uh, come here. Okay, yeah, that's what he'll do. Uh, so that gives him, he's got one speed left. He'll use all four to resolve uh, mass hysteria. Uh, Overcome says you may destroy a card in your play area or discard pile and remove an exhaust token from a panel in range two. So he will destroy one of these simple spears. That goes back in the box for next time. Uh, he'll take this off of the high school. And now he can use this uh, super mall uh, action, which says free samples. Um, 
we can look at the top three cards of the Union deck and put one of the one cheapest onto any player's deck. It's uh, social networking. Uh, so we'll put that on top of Captain Jupiter's deck. She can use a little more buying power. These other two go in the trash. We'll mark that panel as used. And Odysseus still has three speed. Uh, so he'll come here, use that map panel action to gain another heroism. Uh, and then he'll come here. That uses just about everything. He's got another speed left, but he doesn't need it. And that's his cleanup. We can draw. So uh, with the cleanup, as you can see, the legacy card uh, he got stays in play. Now we can draw five cards. All right, nobody threatens him. His peril is an escalation, which means we only have two cards left in uh, the plot. And we move on to Captain Jupiter. She's got a pretty good amount of fight. She's also got a good amount of speed. So she'll go exploring. She'll get four speed and two might for those two. And she'll come here. That costs three to explore. Oh, she finds the Colosseum, which means uh, setup instructions say we can put one power card from the trash onto this panel instead of taking two cards from the top. So let's see if there's any power cards in here that are really good that we want. Uh, yeah, actually, fall in love would be good for Odysseus. So we'll put that there. We'll take. The regular one. Ah, another chain summoning. And we still get a city card. Oh, which is a heroic cabby. So she comes up here. Unfortunately, nothing to fight. So she's got one speed left. So she's actually going to be good there. Yeah, she's going to call it there. Do her draw. Three more. She's got some more buying power. Nobody threatens her. The peril. Uh, there's no enemies to move, so we can put a new city card either with Odysseus or on the Super Mall. This is an issue two exclusive, which means it goes on the bottom of the city deck, and we get a new one. Aha! It's Three Lion Knight, who we'll put here. And now it's Odysseus' turn. So Odysseus will, one, two, three, four. He'll activate Idol of Millions, discarding Clever Captain to bring that up to five Valor, and he's got four speed. And now, because I just discarded a card, thanks to Helm of Kings, I can draw another card, and I will activate Idol of Millions again, discard this, bring me to a total of six Valor, and because of the achieve action, store-wide sale, when you achieve a card here, reduce its cost by one, I can get Texas-sized hero, Woo! which is awesome. Uh, that's Odysseus's turn. Clean up, we'll draw, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, and he's got two alerts. Okay, so let's see who we want to do some drawing and who we want to do some discarding. Captain Jupiter can't quite take out Three Lion Knight, so I'm going to let her draw one from the first rapid processing, which gives her more than enough to do it. And Odysseus will toss away a simple spear. Now, he doesn't get to draw for this because he's already used that this turn. Then with the second ra rapid processing, Odysseus will take the draw, which lets us reshuffle our discard pile into our deck. Draw a card and discard this other simple sphere. That'll be fine. Nobody threatens him because three lion knights threat is only one. Peril is play a plot card. Ugh, stay out of our way. Uh, this is just a warning. It says discard two cards uh, from your hand and put this in your play area. When raptors assault you, they have plus one fight, and this will only get trashed once. Odysseus takes or defeats a raptor gangster. So unfortunately, he has to discard two cards. He will get rid of both clever captains, keeping his two rapid processings. 
And then, um, that's it. That's Peril all taken care of. Which brings us to Captain Jupiter. So, Captain Jupiter is going to go take out... So she'll use the two speed from Chain Summoning. And come here. She has one speed left. She's got two speed from that. And two from that. That gives her a total of four. Which she can use to defeat three and Lion Knight. It says any hero gains six heroism. We'll give that to Odysseus. She's got one speed left. She'll come uh, back up here. She's going to spend all six that she gets from these three cards to get three um, heroism, bringing her up to nine. She's still going to hold up on training, and she'll draw five cards. Uh, nobody threatens her. Her peril is Crime Wave. She gets a Raptor Gangster who comes and assaults her for two. She'll use a uh, Castling, which says discard a card to gain two defense. She'll throw away her Interstellar Travel, taking no damage. And that brings us to Odysseus, who unfortunately only has these two cards in his hand. Uh, so he'll use both of them. That'll give him two Heroism. He'll draw five. Five. No, no alerts. Not exactly what we wanted for him, but that's okay. These uh, Raptor Gangsters come here and assault him for two, but it's three because of his stay out of our way. And unfortunately, he's got to take that. He has no gambits. Uh, and Peril is going to be Wrath of the Underworld, which is to play a plot card. It's a drive-by. That's unfortunate for Odysseus. So uh, Drive-By says, place a Raptor Gangster on your panel. It immediately assaults, so it does him another three. Oof. Uh, and then it comes to the next player's uh, panel and assaults them. So Captain Jupiter is also assaulted. So she'll uh, use G-Force to take no damage from that. And that's the Peril phase. Except it's not quite, because now you see the plot deck is empty. And at the end of the Peril phase, if the plot deck is empty, the next issue begins. So, what does that mean? Well, first, we reveal the new Issue Rules card. It's now Issue 2, which means the Issue Number variable goes up to 2. That's for our cards, that's for enemy cards, anywhere you see the Issue Number symbol. It now is the numerical equivalent of 2. Uh, we can also have one more legacy in our play area, and to break away from a panel with an enemy on it, whether that's one enemy or ten enemies, it costs an additional one speed. We can take this plot deck and shuffle it. So this issue two stack is now the new plot deck. It goes in our plot deck. Um, also, the most important thing about issue number two is we can now uh, find mobsters, and that's the point of the game. Once we defeat three mobsters, the heroes win the game. And um, in order to find mobsters, we need to explore panels that are three spaces that are range three or more from the hero HQ. So now as we start to explore up here, we can find those um, mobsters, defeat them, and win the game. And we can also see <clears throat> that our very first mobster this game is going to be Jimmy Hornhead. That card goes face up on top of the mobster deck, so we know who's coming. When the issue changes, we can also remove any panel exhaust tokens that are on panels that refresh. You can see that this has a refresh, this has a refresh, and the Hero HQ also has a refresh, which says, look at the top five cards of the Union deck, two, three, four, five, and choose one to set up there. Interesting. Uh, I think we're going to go Roped Me a Steer. The other four go in the trash. And we also shuffle the city deck. So now that train derailment that was on the bottom of the deck will be back in the deck somewhere. We can get it again in this game. There we go. So that was Odysseus's turn. We're on to Captain Jupiter again, and we're in issue two. Captain Jupiter will play both Jovian Mites for Might, giving her four. She will take down this Raptor. Uh, she has one might left over, and then she will castle. 
Coming over here, she's got one speed left and two Valor. With the Valor, she will uh, get another Heroism. And then she will do her first training. It's just going to be two to get this Invert Gravity, which will go into her hand and then out into play. She grabs a training token for that. Um, she'll leave Newtonian Flux out to be sure and get a new one, Way to the World. That's cool. That's going to boost up her Jovian Mites. And that will be it for her right now. So Invert Gravity's Legacy, that will stay out. We'll clean up the rest. She will activate this to gain one more Heroism because she defeated an enemy this turn. So tap that, and then we can draw. Two, three. That's only three. Two more. Okay. Got a good amount of fight now. So, these Rapper Gangsters will assault me for three because now the issue number has gone up. The Cosmic Gauntlets will let me reduce that by one, so I'll just take two damage. And... Peril. We escalate. Uh, if a mobster was on our panel, we would activate its Dino Mafia effect, but we don't have any mobsters out yet. You can see the Dino Mafia effect here. Each mobster has one. That's the Peril, so we're on to Odysseus. Alright, Odysseus wants to take out some raptors, but... Can he? Yes, he can. He's been waiting for this. So, I will start by training. Uh, I'm going to train for Hero of the Iliad, which is normally four. With my one training token, that brings it to six. So I'll exert the six uh, heroism. Train for this. It'll go right in my hand. And Hero of the Iliad has a rally effect. Rally happens when you first get it. So, uh, not when you first get it in your hand, but when it first enters your deck properly. So right now, I gain four might for the rally. That will never happen again. So I have four might floating around from that. I will play this. That's a legacy card. Um, I will use three of that might to take down this Raptor Gangster, which will get rid of this Just a Warning. Um, I've got one might left floating. And then I will... Play these two Modern Odysseys, which gives me two Valor and four speed. With the four speed, I will explore here. Um, this has a special setup instruction, which says uh, one card here may be a card from the Union Trash, uh, costing five or more instead of one from the Union deck. So five or more. Ooh, we're going to grab two Gun Crime Buster and put that out there. And uh, we'll set up regularly for the rest. And we don't get a city card. Instead, we're going to take uh, Jimmy Hornhead and set him up here. Odysseus moves over. Okay, so Odysseus still has a speed. Two might he could have. Isn't going to do him much good, although... Okay, so I will Idol of Millions. Activate it to discard this other Idol of Millions. That brings me to two Valor. But, more importantly, <clears throat> once per turn when you discard a card, you may deal two damage to an enemy on your panel. So I'll do two damage to him. He's going to ignore both that damage. Um, but then I'll play this, and so I've got two might left over. So I'll hit him for another two, which will ultimately be one damage to him. Now when I discard that card, I get to draw a card. Hey, it's another simple spear. So that's two damage to him. Should finish my training. I should have done that first. Okay, so let me just get one card. Oh, it's Wanderer. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take this two Valor and do Bravery to convert it into a Heroism, and then, you know what? I'm going to use it, all six, to get Challenge of the Bow, which I will then use and do all three damage to Jimmy Hornhead. I need another trading token for Odysseus. I can't activate this because I have moved this turn. So I'm just going to clean up all these cards. Oh, let me finish this. I'll leave Wanderer out and get... Oh, Bronze Age Warrior. But I'm all out of heroism. Okay, so uh, I've cleaned up, and now I can draw. I, you, as you can see, I'm up to my maximum of legacy cards. So one. I got four more cards to draw. 
Ooh, Texas Sights Hero. Oh, and I got an alert for a hero to draw a card and a hero to discard a card. Let me just remind myself what's going on up here. Odysseus will draw and discard. And now threat. Uh, Jimmy Hornhead threatens me for five. So he's going to hit me for five from a theft. And we get a Raptor Gangster who will immediately assault me for three. Let me see if Captain Trooper can help out with that. Does she have a chain summoning still? Ah, you know what? I'm not going to take that five damage. Hold on. Because Captain Jupiter has chain summoning, uh, which is range one in hand gambit. So when Jimmy Hornhead attacks me, attacks Odysseus for five, chain summoning says discard this card to gain four defense. So Odysseus will gain four defense. Then if you have another uh, a mystic card in your hand, deal that enemy one damage. She does have another mystic card in her hand. And it's still the same turn, so she'll do one more damage to Jimmy Hornhead, bringing him to 16. Now these guys will come and assault me. Uh, Odysseus doing three to him. And then there's the one from Jimmy. Much better. Gambits at range are much more rare than Gambit itself, but they can be really valuable in cases like that. So that was the peril, and we're on to Captain Jupiter. She will use this to come here. She'll deal three to this guy, um, taking him out. She'll activate her increased inertia to grab another heroism. Then she's going to train. First, she'll exert five to get Newtonian Flux. She'll get a new card. Ooh. But with the Newtonian Flux, she'll get one more, bringing her to the six. And then she'll use that a training token, a trained token. Um, to get this. She will replace this. One, two. Okay. Ooh. Impression in that. Okay, so escape velocity she takes into her hand. Uh, escape Velocity, she will empower. She'll discard this to have another hero move to a panel within range 2 of their current panel. If they move this way, draw 2 cards. So Odysseus will come down here and draw 2 cards. And she still has 4 speed, actually. She'll come over here with that speed. So it's 2 to move off of here. And then 1 to go there. And because she used to play the power card this turn, she'll use this and gain three heroism. Oh, she can graviton manipulation. She'll push this right here. And that'll be it for her. She'll draw five cards. Nobody threatens her. Her peril is play a plot card. Ugh. Sleep with the Ichthyosaur. Dismiss a legacy card, then you're dealt five damage. So unfortunately, she has to discard her Invert Gravity, so it's not going to be able to protect her. So she'll um, take one off from uh, Cosmic Gauntlets and two more from G-Force for a total of two damage. That's the peril, so Odysseus is up. Okie doke. We'll start by playing these two modern Odysseys. That gives him four speed and two valor. Oh, he'll um, go ahead and activate this panel to gain two heroism, because it's issue two now. And he's got four speeds, so one, two, three, four. Okay, so he'll go here, he'll activate this ability, look at the top three cards of the deck, and put one of the two cheapest onto any hero's deck. Uh, so that one's six, he unfortunately can't get that, but there's two that are worth uh, four. He'll grab Cowboy Leather for himself, because it'll work really well with his Texas-sized hero. So, He's still got three speed. One, two, three. We'll come back here. Um, Idol of Millions. He will activate to discard Idol of Millions. So that gives him a total of two valor. When he discards a card, he can draw a card. Hey, it's Cowboy Leathers. Um, also, when he discards a card, he can deal an enemy on his panel two damage. So he'll do two damage to... Jimmy Hornhead. I am up to 
four valor, seven, ten, eleven, twelve valor, and one might. So I will uh, activate Texas Size Hero to exert any amount of valor to gain that much might. So I need to do 11 damage, so I'll convert 10 over, taking out Jimmy Hornhead. Boom. So that leaves me with two valor, which I will turn into a heroism. Whoo! And that is Odysseus' turn. That's all his speed, that's all his valor, that's all his might. And you got to use two of his legacies. There's four there shuffle and of course a huge part of that was captain jupiter letting him move and draw on her last turn okay so let me grab oh boy i've got two rapid processings i don't have what it takes to explore ah but captain jupiter certainly does so let me let her draw a card with the first rapid processing and really doesn't help so she'll discard a card and then I'll let her draw again. Aha! And then Odysseus can take that discard for her. I'll throw away a symbol here. Nobody threatens him. His peril is Wrath of the Underworld. Play a plot card. I run this city. Destroy all Union cards on your panel. Each hero discards a Valor card. Oh, bummer. Man. Those were some cool cards. Oh, well. And I got to discard a Valor card, unfortunately. Well, whatever. I don't have anything to buy now anyway. And Captain Jupiter will get rid of the G-Force. That was actually pretty rough. But nobody took damage, so there's that. That's the plot. That's the peril. So Captain Jupiter is up. And she will play past the mantle. Ooh, that's clever, actually. Confront and overcome heroic cabby. This moral motorist says move to any panel. Then you make a free explore action, exerting no speed. So actually what we'll do is we'll actually shift this over a little bit. Her free explore will be right here. M Corp headquarters. Okay, so we get a set of instructions. Say we get four cards here. Ooh, heroic hellion. And we are going to take this mobster. Captain Jupiter is here. Okay, so all that was with just past the mantle. She'll hold on to Castling and to Cosmic Gauntlets. She'll play that but not exert the one. Okay, and now she can draw three. Carlo the Tail's back plates mean we can't do him any damage until, unless we start our turn on the same panel with him. So Carlo's going to hit me, hit Captain Jupiter for four. Uh, she's going to take all that, and she has to discard a Might card. She's going to discard her Cosmic Gauntlet. So first she'll use her Cosmic Gauntlet to bring it to three, and then take, and then discard it, giving her three more damage. So she's taking a total of ten. And Odysseus is taking a total of ten. So we're actually doing really well. We're very healthy. And taking on our second mobster. That's Captain Jupiter's threat phase and we're on to her peril which is oh boy so we escalate one and if a mobster is on your panel activate its dino mafia effect issue minus one time so right now that's two so we will escalate <clears throat> moving this card over here and then his effect is wise guys plays a raptor gangster on this panel so we get a fresh raptor gangster does an assault because we're past the threat phase and Odysseus is up. So I'll start off by uh, dismissing challenge of the bow to move here. I'll throw a spear at the raptor for one. I'll play this for uh, heroism and then I'm going to draw. I kept uh, my clever captain in my hand because I want some defense. So first Carlo is going to assault me for four. So I'll play, uh, I'll discard a Clever Captain for two defense, which will allow me to draw a card. And then I'll play another Clever Captain for two more defense. Uh, once per turn when you 
Discard a card, you may deal two damage to an enemy on your panel. I'm going to do that to this raptor to take that raptor out. Ah, pretty clever, huh? And that way I took no damage from Carlo, um, and I was able to take out that raptor. Unfortunately, Odysseus really doesn't have much fight in him for next turn, but he's over there, at very least. And Peril uh, is going to get us a city card. There's no one to move towards us, so we just get a city card here. And Oh boy, it's Great White. So he's not going to move yet, but that's actually another big uh, uh, problem for us to deal with, even though his defeat text is um, pretty potent. So that was Peril. We're on to Captain Jupiter's turn. She'll play Invert Gravity. She'll play these four. Oh, this goes over here. She'll play these two for um, Might. Do four damage to Carlo. She's going to hold on to her castling. So that way she can defend Odysseus too. And then draw four. Could be better, but okay. That's okay. Um, she's got a huge Valor turn ahead coming up. Um, Carlo assaults her for four, which she'll actually just take because she doesn't have any might cards to discard. So she'll take that four damage. And then Peril. Uh, we escalate and he's gonna activate. <clears throat> so we take the bottom card here and then he activates which gets us another raptor gangster and remember because of the citywide alert even though it's way down there raptors still have an increased fight but they're not attacking right now we're on to odysseus odysseus has a big valor hand so i mean could be bigger but uh, he'll start by playing idol of millions and activating it he'll Toss away a modern Odyssey, which is not like ideal, ideal, but it lets him use both his discard things. So, um, meh. he draws another idol of millions. He's a two valor, and he deals uh, two damage to an enemy on his panel. He'll deal it to the raptor, and then throw the simple spear at them to finish that raptor. <sighs> so he's at two, three, four, and two speed. So four. He'll grab this um, poison gas pellets and destroy this because that's what uh, supply and demand does. So this goes into his discard. He'll clean these up, draw two, three more. Okay, uh, and Odysseus got one alert, so he's gonna draw and then he will discard. He'll discard rapid processing, the very card that had that alert. So Carlo's gonna assault him for four, which Captain Jupiter will take care of him with the invert gravity. And then Great White comes over and hits him for five. You double defense exerted against uh, the arrogant Great White. Captain Jupiter will use castling and get rid of social networking to give Odysseus two defense, which doubles to four, so he takes one damage. All right, Captain Jupiter is really doing a great job defending uh, Odysseus. Yeah, she just blocked all that damage. That was a total of nine damage she turned into one. So, big teamwork from Captain Jupiter. Odysseus gets a peril, which gets another city card, which is gonna go here. Oh, it's an autograph signing. Cool, somebody can cash in for a lot of heroism with that. Uh, and that brings us to Captain Jupiter. So, she's going to exert six. She'll keep castling in her hand still. Exert six to get Heroic Hellion, which destroys this. Supply and demand. She'll hold on to castling. Draw four. So we've got some might cards now. Not a ton, and she is kind of still in danger. Okay, so... We'll have Great White assault her first. She'll use Cosmic Gauntlets, which will be worth two. And um, she'll castle to get interstellar travel for 
um, four. So he does no damage to her. Then Carlo will hit her for four. And she will take that four and throw away um, Cosmic Gauntlets. Oof, 19 damage. So she's still got 10 stamina left. She's got three cards in her hand. So, Peril is Crime Wave. Uh, Raptor Gangsters get shuffled and form a new stack. This isn't really relevant in a regular game, but um, in advanced games where there's more advanced Raptors, the shuffling will be important because there's more variety. Raptor Gangsters come and assault her for four because citywide alert and they're now at three because it's issue two and she'll use castling to discard itself for two so she only takes two damage ouch and that brings us to odysseus so first he'll idol of millions activate throw out a simple sphere which will allow him to draw a card and do two damage to an enemy on his panel he'll do that too to carlo so that brings Carlo to six. So we still need to do nine damage to him, which I've got. So Texas Ice Hero and Cowboy Leathers plus Challenge of the Bow. Um, I will activate this to turn all six of this into might. Plus that is nine. We take out Carlo, our second mobster. And I've still got a simple spear left, which I'll huck at this raptor for one. And because I haven't moved, I can actually activate Challenge of the Bow. If you have not moved yet this turn, dismiss this card to move to a panel in range two. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to uh, get out of here because we're both getting a lot of damage. So I'll come here. That's two. And then draw. Oh, I got a rapid processing. So, how are you doing? Uh, Odysseus is still going to take it for one, and then he will discard this simple spear. Peril. Because nobody threatens him. Yep. We play a plot card. Oh, boy. Uh, get him, boys. Uh, shuffle the raptor trash into the raptor deck. Put half the raptors from the raptor deck, round it down onto the board, one on your panel, and the rest on panels in range one. So five in here right now so we'll get one here and we'll put one here and that's it for odysseus captain jupiter is up um she'll guns blazing for two to destroy this guy or defeat rather and then she'll newtonian flux she'll exert two heroism to move an enemy on her panel to another panel in range two she'll just push him over here and then she's got two Valor and two Speed. So she'll gain another Heroism with the Valor. Then she'll destroy this with the Activate. Destroy this card to gain three Speed. So now she's got five Speed total. Um, and she'll use one to come here. She'll uh, confront this challenge for one. It says gain one Heroism for each Speed you gain this turn. So that's five. And then with one more Speed she'll come back. And now she'll draw five. She'll need four there. Okay. Uh, nobody threatens her, which is good. And her peril is play a plot card, which is sleep with the ichthyosaur. So she dismisses a legacy card and is dealt five damage. Incidentally, the last monster is going to be Al Osaurus. So five damage. Definitely doesn't want to take... Uh, she will discard Chain Summoning to only take one. That's that. That's her peril. Odysseus is up. So let's start with these two modern odysseys. Uh, and we'll go exploring. Uh, we're going to grab Al. And two cards. Ooh, some good cards. So I've got two Valor and one Speed left. I'll Poison Gas Pellets, Al for two damage, and it's another legacy that'll stay out. And then I'll go with four Valor total. I'll turn that into two Heroism. And 
six. Cool. Goes away. I draw until I've got five in my hand. Didn't get to discard this turn. First time I wasn't able to do that, but I probably I'm, I'm certainly going to get to do that now when I gambit. So uh, just because you don't get to discard on your action phase doesn't mean that you're not necessarily going to get to discard as far as Odysseus's um, discard abilities are concerned. Uh, so he's got two more. One, ooh, two. Cool. Allosaurus is going to assault me because he threatens. Uh, his threat is four. Uh, so first I will dismiss the poison gas pellets to gain one defense and deal that enemy two damage. And then I'll discard Clever Captain to gain two more defense. And because I discarded, I get to draw a card. And because I discarded, I get to deal an enemy on my panel two damage. Boom. So he's still dealing me one damage. And I think what I'll do is get rid of this other Clever Captain so he does um, no damage to me. Uh, which means he doesn't do any healing for his ability. Actually, that's not all for Odysseus. He also gets threatened by this Raptor, who comes and hits him for four, which he's just going to take. Oof. I'll hold on to these cards. I get a Peril which is Escalate 1, and then he's going to activate. So, we Escalate, and then we activate his effect, which is simply Liquid Fuel Frenzy. Uh, this deals you 2 damage. So, let me see if I got some more defense here. Nope, I'm going to take the 2 damage, and he'll do the healing. Because this way I can use my discards next turn. Okay, that's the Peril, and Captain Jupiter's up. Well, first she'll escape velocity Odysseus. She'll move him here. And then he gets to draw two cards because of that. And then she's got three speed. She'll come here. One. And then activate Graviton, Graviton Manipulation to push this here. And then she'll exert two to move here. Hold on to that. Ah. And actually, she's going to do training, too, while she's over here. She's going to exert all eight she has, grab another training token, and get uh, crushing momentum. She will replace realignment. Let's see what else she gets. Mm, okay. Not that she's probably going to be able to get those. But crushing momentum gives her three, and she can activate to gain two extra might that cannot be exerted on a panel you started your turn on. So that gives her... Five total might. Um, she'll take this guy out with three and do two to Al and then move back here. Oh, and she can actually move one more because she's got another speed from that. Very cool. Very effective turn from Captain Jupiter. And she'll keep that in her hand and one, two, three, four. Okay, cool. Um, Great White comes and assaults. Four, five, and she will reduce four of that, taking only one damage. Uh oh. She's taking 23 damage. She's got six stamina left. Odysseus has 10 left. Okay. That's her hand for next turn. And Peril. We escalate, uh, but we're not. She's not on the panel with him, so he doesn't. Get to activate his Dynamafia ability. And that brings us to Odysseus. He's got four speed. And he's going to use that to go one, two, three. That gives him two valor. So an eight, nine. He'll activate that, discard this for ten. Draw, do two damage to him. <clears throat> 10, 11, and then I'll activate Texas Sized Hero to convert all of that into Might. So that's 11 Might, and he's taken 6, 7, 8. Oh my goodness, he's taken 19 damage out of 20. Whew! 
close, but not quite there yet. Odysseus draws his new hand. He's got two rapid processings and actually no uh, uh, gambits. So because we want to defend against Allosaurus to make sure he doesn't heal, I'm going to take both of these draws. Draw one, and I'll discard the other processing, and then draw one, and discard the other rapid processing. Well, it could be better, but I have some gambit now. He'll assault me for four. I'll clever captain to reduce that by two. So I take two damage, and he heals two damage. Peril is play a plot card. Oh, Jessica Raptor. She's one of our favorite cards in the whole villain deck. Uh, she's going to come onto our panel, but she's not assaulting yet because we're past the uh, threat phase. Okay. Captain Jupiter's up. She'll play Invert Gravity. She will use two to get Flurry of Fists because she's still on the bank. Uh, she's probably not going to see it, but it's still a good card, so she'll take it. Um, she'll hit him for one. Interstellar Travel isn't doing her any good, so that's it for her this turn. She'll draw five cards. Great White assaults her. She will invert gravity, blocking it all. Um, Peril, we escalate one. Oh boy, almost an issue three, but I don't think we're going to get that far. Monster doesn't activate because he's not on our panel. And Odysseus is up. And yep, this is going to be the end because he's got poison gas pellets for two. Challenge of the bow for three. And then two simple spears, bringing him to a total of seven, which is more than enough to take him out. Um... He couldn't take out Jessica Raptor also, but that's okay, because as soon as Allosaurus goes down, we've defeated three mobsters, which is one more than the number of heroes, which means we win the game. You can see we've explored nine panels, we've gotten a pretty good sized board going. We got almost into issue three. Captain Jupiter was pretty rough damage-wise. She only had six stamina left. Odysseus had ten stamina left. So both of them were getting, you know, close. They couldn't have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with too many more uh, big-time foes, but they didn't need to. As you can see, we've got more than enough table space. There's plenty of table space down there still. Um, more than enough for another two or three rows of panels, plus more potentially this way, depending on how we array our cards or slide things. Everything was easily in reach of one person, all very manageable, and I had a fun time in this game. Uh, I love the, the team up of Captain Jupiter and Odysseus. Uh, usually Captain Jupiter is the, the bigger fighter, but in this, this game she turned into the tank and Odysseus really became an incredible fighter through um, some of those Wrangler team up cards that he got. Um, you know, he usually, he tends to be um, a pretty valorous character, somebody who has a lot of uh, valor to throw around and to um, exert for various things, but being able to convert that into might this game uh, really changed the way he was able to play. Uh, and it's another way uh, that team of cards can dramatically affect the game, uh, as well as interact in different ways with different chosen playable heroes. Um, Odysseus also got his two big discard cards out first, so he was able to make a lot of those. Captain Jupiter trained four times, Odysseus trained three times. Uh, he was close, but he didn't need to again. Got through a lot of city cards. Overall, this is what a game of Union City Alliance looks like, um, particularly if you're playing a two-player game solo. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'm happy to answer. Uh, look for more updates coming soon. Be sure to check out our Kickstarter before it's over. Uh, we need you to pledge now, and we need to make this the biggest hit it can be, not only so we get it to your tables, but so we can get it to your tables with even more stuff than you see here. Uh, thanks again, and we'll see you in Union City, heroes.